Good morning. It's Willow from Forever Mystical. Forever Mystical is my Etsy shop, my YouTube channel, and my Facebook page. Um, today I am going to make some frankincense anointing oil to use on um, my altar tools to uh, bless them, anoint them, and also if you have athames, it helps to stop them from resting if yours are not stainless steel. So, um, anointing oil, frankincense is, frankincense oil is an anointing oil. And what it's for, you can anoint yourself with it. I would do a little skin um, area to make sure I wasn't allergic to either the frankincense or the olive oil that we use. Um, but it is, um, back in the olden days, you know, even in churches today, they use frankincense oil and olive oil as anointing oils. And that is much along the line of the version that I've learned to make. So, um, you need a little vial. Glass is better with a lid. You don't want to use a cork as the oil soaks up into the cork and then it deposits some of the cork back into your oil. So you need a little glass bottle and what you're going to do is you're going to put some, um, you want to drop some frankincense resins into your bottle. Now the ones I have are the small nuggets. So I am going to put about three, maybe I think four, maybe one more. Five. So I'm putting five frankincense nuggets into my little vial. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I want to put 12 drops of frankincense. Now the reason why we use 12 drops is because, now like I said, this is frankincense anointing oil like they may use in some churches. But, um, and in other um, uh, Christo-pagan or Christian witch practices. So you want to use 12 drops of the frankincense, and the reason being is because um, each drop represents one of the 12 tribes, and or it represents one of the 12 disciples with the frankincense representing um, the Christ child himself as frankincense was given to him upon his birth. So we want to add exactly 12 drops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, wow, this is slow, ten, come on, New bottle and already clogging up on me. 11, 12. Okay. Okay, so I got the the 12 drops in there. And that may be a little bit too much for this small bottle, but it does take um, 12 drops of oil. Then I'm going to add my olive oil. Perfect. Now we'll put the lid on that. Right. Shake it up. Um, there's your frankincense and your essential oil inside of your olive oil. And now I'm going to enchant this. Now for a bottle this small, 12 drops of, um, of frankincense oil might be a lot. So what I may do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it in... To another bottle this size and I'm going to cut it again with some more oil that way um, I will have a bottle for anointing and then I will have a bottle that I can use on my altar tools but I'm going to show you how you enchant this you hold this between your hands and you recite the 23rd Psalm so it is the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pasture he leadeth me beside the still waters he restores my soul. He leadeth me in the patches righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shallow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. 
Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all of the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So now the bottle is enchanted. Now I'm going to show you one of the ways that I use. I love the smell of that. I'm going to show you one of the ways that I use my frankincense oil. Set that there for a minute so I don't spill it. I just take a cotton ball, but I have several witch's blades that I use. For, this is for like trees and if I'm gathering, you know, um, sticks to make stars or uh, wands or crosses with, then I use this um, blade here. This blade here is uh, made from um, a file. It's rosewood handle and it's um, been created from a file. Next to it. I use this one if I'm out, you know, when I'm out gathering um, larger plants and things out in the yard, or if I'm if I'm carving something down. This is a great blade to use for that. And then my personal travel witch's blade that goes everywhere I go is this little one. All three of these are handmade, and they are all three made from files with ro rosewood handles. They are a complete set. So as you can tell, over time. They do start showing a little bit of their age. Even though it's pretty short, I think. Now watch me be proven wrong. Let's see. Well, it's sharp enough for what I need it for. So anyhow, um, over, um, over a period of time, they do start turning and tarnishing. Now, what I like to do to protect my blades, and because these ones here can... Um, rest from from um, the elements I like to take just a little bit of oil on a cotton swab the anointing oil and I just like to give them a good cleansing this anoints the blade and it protects the blade Don't forget the handle. The handle's wood. It loves a good oil bath as well. And we'll set that side and let it soak in. As you can see, that's from just going over that one blade. So I'm going to clean the other two pretty quickly. Now, like I said, this is the one that travels everywhere with me so it gets the most use or abuse whichever way you want to look at it so i'm just going to let these sit and soak the oil again the, the blades when you use your blades they can get you know a little dirty a little grimy pretty quickly here's the one that travels with me everywhere it's the small blade that one there normally stays on my altar with Big Brother. And I'm going to do the handle. This also helps when you go to resharpen. Okay, there we go. And again, those blades really need to be clean. Okay, so now I've got just a cloth. Ha! Mess! there that I'm going to just wipe the excess off the handles because one thing you don't need is a slippery knife okay here we go I'm going to do this with all three of my blades I love frankincense oil as it does um it does a good job on per on protecting your knife blades your ritual blades the one that you use the most but also Put one or two drops, no more, into your bath for a ritual bath. You can use it to anoint yourself. You can use it to anoint other things that you're creating, such as your pockets and your mojo bags. 
um, you can use it on candles, um, anywhere where you just need a nice, empowering um, anointing oil. So that's how we create it. The best, the best oil I found to use is olive oil, as that is an original anointing oil. Add your frankincense nuggets, add 12 drops of frankincense, and then you enchant it with the 23rd Psalms. And then you will have your own bottle of amazing frankincense anointing oil. Thank you for joining me. And if you make some, leave a comment below. And if you will, please like my um, video. Give me a thumbs up. Share if you will. Subscribe to my channel. And as always, stay forever mystical. And blessed be.